Welcome to Fins Up. King Mike keep it moving here. And this is your weekly inside look at my Madden 21 franchise in the premier Madden League, PML. Shout out to all my PML brothers out there. Uh, we took the Dolphins, the lowest rated team in the game, so this is a complete rebuild and we're excited to head into Season 2. Season 1 was a pretty decent year. We went 10-6 and six, and we even got us a playoff victory. So uh, in this episode, we're going to go over our Season 1 draft. We're going to take a look at our preseason performance and we're going to give our Season 2 predictions. So let's start with the draft first. After a decent offseason filling in some pieces on the offense and defensive line, the Dolphins look to address their pass rush while also looking into the future as some of our key players' deals are set to expire. Creed Humphrey and Wyatt Davis were both centers, and they were both on top of our draft list. Unfortunately, by the bottom of the first round, pick number 25, they were both gone. So we decided to go with Jeremiah Owusu Komora from Notre Dame, and it might have been a blessing in the disguise because he's looking like we might have the next Von Miller, but we're gonna have to wait and see. We're gonna have him. We're gonna line him up on the edge outside linebacker and just have him get after the quarterback. So. Our second pick in the first round went to Rashad Bateman. He was a wide receiver. We were shocked that he fell down to us. Uh, just a, a powerhouse on the outside at the wide receiver position. We brought him in. You know, we had Tua coming in uh, after his rookie year. He needs some weapons, so he'll be on the outside. Another explosive, tall, big wide receiver that we can use. Uh, both of these players that we took in the first round are going to start day one as we continue to build a balanced team that we want to be dangerous on all position groups. In round two, we again missed out on offensive linemen, but we took the best player available and selected cornerback Marcus Fields out of Texas Tech, who we think is going to help in our pass defense. Uh, as you all know, Man 21 is a heavy pass game, so bringing in a uh, top cornerback that was in the draft uh, is going to help us out a lot. Now, he's a little slow, but we'll go ahead and protect him and have him at nickelback and just have him maybe even play a little sub linebacker. He's going to move to safety. In the offseason, we brought in an aging Everson Griffin, and knowing that, we put him on a one-year deal. And knowing that, we brought we drafted uh, the defensive tackle, Jalen Tywin, and, you know, we'll just build him out in the background. So when Griffin, when Griffin walks, uh, we'll bring in that second-round pick and see what he can do. So as you can see here, here are the rest of our picks. The main one that I want you to key in on is Keontae Ingram. He'll get a nice amount of carries to close out games. We let Jordan Howard walk, so Keontae's going to come in and be our power back to, you know, as we close out game. Brita, Brita will get us there, and Ingram will close it out. Let's jump into preseason real quick, where out of the four games we played, we only won two. However, we were able to see uh, flashes of greatness from Rashad Bateman, who ended the preseason with 45 catches, 757 yards, and 12 touchdowns in four games. Bateman has quickly risen to our number one receiver, and we really look to utilize our size from our core. Um, they average out, our receivers average out to be about 6'3", 220 pounds. So as we head into season two, man, we're excited. We think we're going to build on the success that we had in our 10-6 and six season one. And who knows, man, maybe make a run at the Super Bowl, man. But we got to get over them Patriots and the rest of the AFC. We got a lot of competition. Thanks for tuning in to the first episode of Fins Up. King might keep it moving. Let's get it.